this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World bringing you another flipped math video. Our learning goal tonight is I can divide by multiples of 10. So our guiding question is how can I divide by multiples of 10? So let's look at a little bit of vocabulary for this lesson. We start with a multiple. A multiple is like skip counting, like 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. We have our dividend, that's the number down here that you are dividing. Our divisor, the number you're dividing by. And our quotient, which is the answer or result of the division. So strategies for division success, we have used compatible numbers to estimate. Then we're going to follow our divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, start over method, and then keep going until we have a zero or decide that our we have a remainder. So here are some practice problems over here. I am going to go ahead and work a couple. You can work with me. I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video as soon as you have them written down. So 345 divided by 30 and our second one was 841 divided by 60. Now that you have these written down, go ahead and pause your video, work those problems, and then come back and check with me. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to use our divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and start over process. So this is very much like dividing with one digit, only we have two digit divisors now. So we're going to go through and we're going to have to look at the first two numbers of our dividend. This means we are going to start with a zero up here. So for divide, we ask ourselves, how many times will 30 go into 34? One, I hope. We multiply one times 30 is 30. We subtract. We bring down. And then we start over. So how many times will 30 go into 45? One. Five minus zero is five. Four minus three is one. Now, as these problems get bigger, it's gonna seem odd to have a remainder that's as big as 15. But the key is to look at this remainder up here and see that it is smaller than our divisor. If that's your case, then you are good. So let's look at this second one over here. We know it's a two-digit divisor, so we're going to start with a zero. We ask ourselves, how many times will 60 go into 84? Well, I know that one times 60 is 60. Two times 60 is 120, so that's going to be too much. So we're going to put a 1 here, go ahead and subtract our 60, 8 minus 6 is 2, bring down our 1, we have 241. So now I've got to start over and ask myself how many times will 60 go into 241? Well I know that 6 will go into 24 four times. So let's give it a try over here and try 60 times four. That's going to be 240. When we subtract that, we end up with one left over. So that's a 14 remainder of one. Okay. 
This has been short practice, but if you remember your divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, start over process, you will do well with this division tonight. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. I want you to make sure that you understand the process of dividing by multiples of 10. Complete your notes. Make sure your practice problems are in there. Ask me any questions in class and I will help you out. Thank you for watching tonight. Look forward to seeing you on our next flipped math video.